In our lives, these dreams didn't come true. Oh my gosh! Good morning, everybody. Forever Nini here, and welcome back to Real Good Colors. So a lot of you guys actually really liked the last video I made on this. So I'm gonna go ahead, get back in here, because there is still a couple of pictures that we haven't gotten yet. So for Delivery Guy, we got two for him. This one and this one. Razzie, we got one. And also, some of you guys said that Razzie just might be a Sundari, aka somebody that's really mean to the person that they like. Maybe. But anyways, and then the last thing is a stalker. We have yet to find the pictures for that, so I kind of wanted to go back in and see if we can figure out what those pictures are. Anyways, let's go ahead, get into it, and I will see you guys when something new happens. Okay, last time I came to this part, Something different happened when I decided to read the newspaper versus taking a call. When I actually took a call, that's when I met the other two guys. When I read the newspaper, I got stomped and knocked out. So let's go ahead and see what happens if we daydream instead this time. Lost in thought, I drum my fingers on the counter while a sudden memory starts playing in my head like a movie. I see my friends from middle school who gifted me a drum set for my 15th birthday and taught me how to play. Like most teenagers, we were chasing the dream of becoming a world famous band and indeed, with the help of our family, we soon had all our own instruments in a soundproof basement to practice in. At least our families were really like supportive of their dream, I like that. Feeling nostalgic, I take two candy canes from a box that are sewed year round and start hitting on various items to create some funny beats. Gonna be like a boop ba doop ba doop ba doop bop, like literally just in my own little world. While there's like a killer out there, I'm just like boop, 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 boop. I've been told that I was a good listener, had a good sense of rhythm and timing. So teenage me practiced for years to become one of the best drummers one day. Every night I would fall asleep listening to my favorite bands, imagining this was our last concert, pretending I was playing and crying tears of joy at the end. But like so many other things in our lives, these dreams didn't come true. Oh my gosh, why did that scare me? Okay, so now we're seeing this guy first because before we saw a delivery guy and then we saw this guy oh my gosh i was actually in dream world too with nina i gasped and the candy canes dropped to the floor oh gosh you startled me how did i not notice him and why didn't i hear the store bell have i been that deep in thought uh, i'm sorry i didn't mean to no no it's, it's all right i should have paid more attention it's part of my job after all Though I didn't expect to have another customer right before closing time either. <laughs> My laugh comes out awkward and strangled. I'm so embarrassed he was seeing me like that. Yup, yup, I would be embarrassed too. Literally just in my own little dream where like... I usually shop at a different store, but I only found out today that they had to shut down. That's why I came here instead. I'm sorry for any inconvenience I'm causing you now. Oh, don't worry about it. You're not causing any inconvenience at all. You know, I really enjoy your performance. Watching you cheered me up a little. Oh, having a bad day, eh? I wouldn't want to repeat it, though. Thank you, I'm glad it did. Ooh, these are more choices. So you know what that means. Saving. Okay, so I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be nice and be like, thank you, I'm glad you enjoyed my random drumming. Thank you, I'm glad it did, but I would appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone about this, okay? It's embarrassing. He nods understandingly. No problem, but are you sure I shouldn't bring my piano next time? You play piano? My eyes crinkled in amusement. You can play piano? Literally my same question. I used to play it a lot when I was younger and less jaded. I'm certain I've gotten quite rusty by now though. What made you stop? The question makes him pause for a moment. Hmm, I don't know. I guess I wasn't feeling it anymore. Well, maybe now is the time to take it up again. I mean, that way you can save yourself from seeing wacky performances from your local cashier and me from a heart attack. He laughs, but wacky performances have their own charm. And I don't plan to repeat my late night shopping, not to mention sneaking up on you. Thank you, promise. Uh, what a release, thank you. Well then. Oh. Why did that actually, I actually have my volume all the way up for some reason, don't mind me guys. Not wanting to keep him any longer from paying for his purchases, I started scanning his items. Do you want to buy anything else? He points at the box with the candy canes. 
I would like to try one of these. Sure, it's a new peppermint variety filled with ruby chocolates. Ooh, that sounds good, actually. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your purchase. Enjoy the rest of the evening and please come again. No piano, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, miss. He looks at my name tag, which tells him only my last name. It's better this way. <gasps> so I remember somebody knowing my name and I was like, how did they know my name? I guess they must have heard <gasps> the other character that was nervous and he knew my name. So the, the name tag only says your last name. That is creepy. Do we have another creepy guy in here? <laughs> There's too many creepy guys to, ke to keep up with, guys. Some people in the past have quickly forgotten the actual relationship level with me and thus no longer showed me the appropriate amount of respect and courtesy. My first name is therefore only given to those whom I believe knows how to behave. You can call me Nina. Aw, uh, thanks, Nina. I'm Damien. <laughs> Damien? Damon. 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 It was nice talking to you. Okay, so this time we're actually getting to know his name as well. Maybe one day you'll hear my music through these speakers instead. That would be nice. See you next time. Okay. And with that, he leaves the store. I wave him goodbye. Happy to finally be able to enjoy the end of my work day. I, I have to lower the volume. Oh my gosh. I slam the cash register shut, pick up the two broken candy canes, lower the shutter doors, and activated the alarm system, all while still thinking about that killer. I wonder if he's out there, now looking for a new victim. Would a shortcut home be too risky? I got some pepper spray the other day, but I also learned that there are Huvari who are immune to it. Maybe a gun would have been a better choice after all. I bet Razzie never has to worry about such things. Being born with no special powers really sucks in a situation like this, but maybe it will help if I ask to close the store an hour early tomorrow. Oh! Oh, is that Razzie? Right! I remember Razzie wanted to check up on- Okay, so this time Razzie's actually gonna- Okay, since I didn't close it an hour early, Razzie's gonna call me and maybe I can get home good. Okay, I hurry back. Oh, they, this is to the break room. I'm not even walking home. Just kidding. I lied. I hurry back to the break room, not bothering to turn on lights. I fish my phone out of my bag and squint at the bright screen lighting up my face, displaying... Ah, yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna call him Razzie. I, I feel like he's just misunderstood now, okay? So Razzie. Razzie's full name. I thought about giving him a silly nickname, but I honestly don't want to stoop to his level. Should I answer him? Yeah, let's do it. Let's answer it. See what happens. I took the call and could tell by his colorful, bouncy voice that he was buzzed on alcohol. The party noise in the background made it difficult to hear him, but fortunately, he was short with me. I confirmed that everything was fine, that I was heading home, and he had nothing to worry about. Dot, dot, dot. After we said goodbye, my heavy feet shuffled towards the exit and into the night. Why didn't you talk to him and walk home at the same time? Be like, just stay on the phone. There's literally a killer around here. I feel like at least he would have, like, been partying but had the phone still on. You know, at least there's, like, it's like kind of like a 50-50 win-win situation. Win-lose. Something. Anyways. Now we're just going in the pitch dark. With only the voice of horns, is this the same thing as before? Oh, gosh. If I can skip it. Okay, I can't skip it. So it's not the same thing. In the distance, I spot a group. Ooh, it probably is the same thing. Suddenly, a rustle came from my left. My shoes scraped the surface of the concrete as I came to a grot halt. Yeah, this is the same cat scene. I yelp in some surprise as a cat sprints past me, growling. Yeah, I think I remember this. And then the can comes over and I start running. Yeah. Yup, yup, I'm dead, guys! It's the same outcome! Yup, I already know. I already know. I already know! <laughs> Dang it, how do we get this scene? I wanted, I wanted a scene with Damu. Damon. Damon. His name's Damon. I don't know where I got that from. Yep. Dang it. Instead, I got another scene with DG and I die. Hey, DG. Okay, so how about we start here? Maybe we can come back here and we say, having a bad day, huh? Sounds like you're pretty dejected about something. He lets out a heavy sigh. Yeah, I was rejected by a person I really like. I thought I did everything right this time. I don't know what to do anymore. That sounds like the worst day ever. I'm sorry you got rejected. I know how painful that can be. A smile blooms on his lips, uncertain and shaky, but accepting of my sympathy. Thanks for being so understanding. It actually makes me feel a little better just having someone say something nice to me today. 
You're welcome. I'm sure you'll get another chance to meet someone who hopefully will appreciate you for who you are. And I bet there's a lot to appreciate. <laughs> there's the hearts. Maybe that's what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for those hearts. I wink at him and give him a bright smile. What can I say? He's a new potential customer. Yeah, I remember this. Let's see. This it's not going to be the same path, though, because uh, DG's not here. You, you really think so? Like what? My eyes quickly scan him from head to toe. His hair looks fluffy. His clothes are worn out but clean, and he smells nice, too. Like some sort of homemade oil, maybe ruse? Yup. Appearance-wise, I like how fluffy your hair looks, and wait, are you wearing a coat in summer? Yeah, we definitely talked about this before, and this is what led to, like, him feeling some type of way about me and then, you know, getting into my house somehow. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna change this time, or, like, if, if him liking me deters DG, because I heard they were friends before, so maybe if he likes me, that makes DG not kidnap me. I don't know. I don't know how the math works between them. Okay, so I'm giving him the two candy canes like I did before. I pick them up and show them to him. Here, you can have these. I know these sound kind of cheesy, but since they didn't break, you could use them as lucky charms, you know, for the next conquest. Our fingers brush against each other as I hand him the candies, causing him to hold his breath for a split second. He must have felt the same heat spark jolt from our brief touch. I watch him staring at his gift in awe, then back at me. It's a new peppermint variety. Okay, so this time he didn't pay for it. I just gave it away. They're so popular that they always sell out quickly, not only at Xmas. The thank you, you're too kind. This this really makes me feel so much better already. I beam at him. Oh, don't mention it. I'm always glad to help. Well then, not wanting to keep him any longer from paying for his purchase, I start scanning his items. Is that all? Huh? Oh, right, yeah, that's all. My bag is groceries. I notice how he's watching me closely now, but that doesn't bother me. It's cute when customers admire me for making their day. It makes me feel better about myself, too. Here you go. Thank you. It was really nice talking to you. Likewise. Ugh. Please be careful at this hour. You never know who's lurking in the shadows. <laughs> I'll be extra careful just for you, but you take care, too, all right? Thank you for your purchase, and please come again. Oh, definitely, I will. So, I think he said that last time, and that's how I and I went home good. We'll see, we'll see. And with that, he leaves the store. I wave back at him goodbye. Happy to finally be able to enjoy the end of my work day. Dot, dot, dot. Heart, heart, heart. Oh my gosh. Oh, we did get another one. He walks out of the store with a spring in his step as the darkness of the night settles over the city like a cloak, whose light then comes to life showing the beauty of its rainbow color. It's been so long that someone other than his friend has been kind to him, offering him hope and a new sense of warmth to blossom in his heart. He has been starving for such sweetness, always clinging to any emotional sugar source he could find, but it's never easy, nor does it last very long. Every time things didn't work out, people were quick to move on eventually, if they were lucky, that is. This time will be different, though. He could feel it. It's you, or no one. Your precious gift is a sign of love, right? Love, love, love. Yeah, this guy's going crazy. It makes him want to capture every single moment of you, moments when you're real, beautiful, even scared. There's no way you wouldn't want to be his wife, his life partner, his companion, and share all of your secrets, your hopes and fears, your sorrows and joys with him forever forever and ever oh my gosh ew despite the warm human air he could feel goosebumps appearing on his arms making his mouth split into a grin as he enjoys the thought that you might be thinking of him too my gosh i mean at least he didn't follow me home but this is still kind of sussy he will return your kindness and make sure you know how much he cares about you even if it takes all he has to give He'll do anything necessary to make it happen. Anything. If sacrifices aren't made for love, it ain't love, right? And he won't stop until you understand how much you mean to him. Even if you're only just met. He will know everything there is to know about you by the time this night is over anyways. Just be patient, my love. It won't be long until you find yourself in my arms. Just like it's meant to be. <laughs> Ugh, and then they go back to me like nothing happened?
I slammed it shut, lowering the shutters and activating the alarms. This is the same thing as before, isn't it? Uh, I should have asked for his name. Oh, this time I don't know his name. Well, maybe I'll get the chance next time. He seems to have a gentle soul. I can't remember the last time I met someone who was so pleasant and easy to talk to. A small smile creeps upon my lips as I think back to how our hands touch. It's not the first time I've been attracted to a customer, but usually just silly little crushes, nothing that would last. It's a nice feeling to have them, even if they don't lead anywhere. As I make my way home, I suddenly hear my phone ringing. Okay, so this is the same as before. This time, I'm gonna see if I, sh if I don't answer, if I'm gonna run into somebody. Cause I remember last time we answered and we were able to get home safely. So let's not answer. I reject the call. His voice is the last thing I wanna hear for the night. He'll probably scold me for the next day, but I'm too tired to care about that. Dot, dot, dot. I stumbled into my apartment. Oh, so I just stumbled into my apartment. I'm good, I'm, I'm good. Kicked off my shoes and went to my laptop. And I remember this part. Yup, and then at the very end, this guy pops up and yeah, we got a stalker now. Anyways, with that being said, we officially got all of the ga galleries, all the pictures for all the guys. We got DG, we got the stalker, AKA Damon, and then we got Razzy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about this. I, I really like this and I feel like I would play this in my personal time if it gets too much for YouTube. Cause like, I kinda wanna see what happens with everyone. Like this is a very interesting premise in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Nina, out.